Dress disappearing already. Today I've got a whole load of fidget toys to test out, so let's get started. The first one we're going to look at is this magic cube. Now I've no idea why they call it a cube, because it's actually a ball. It's got these coloured balls all the way around it inside, and a blank hole here at the bottom, with a big lump of foam or something inside. To use it, we flick one ball across to the empty hole, like this, and keep going to mix them all up. Then when you're ready, you need to try and put the balls back into their corresponding hole colour. I really like this, it's pretty quiet, you can only move one ball at a time, it looks really cool, and it's a great fidget. And there, I've managed to do it. Have you seen these? They're magnetic finger rings, and they're a great fun stress relief toy. You can see they stick together, but the centres of them spin too, so you can put them onto a finger and do a whole heap of different tricks. They're quite addictive. They're relatively quiet and really good fun. And you can even use them flat on the table for a sliding game. Try not to let them stick. What about this Tangle stress reliever? This is really cool, it just pulls apart like this. And it sort of flows and tangles around your fingers. It feels quite addictive and it moves in a really weird way. It's not rubber, it's actually hard plastic, but it's made up of these individual pieces all linked together. It moves really freely, and you can curl it back up and pull it back out, and almost massage it. I really like this one, it's nice and quiet and small and portable. What about this pop snapper? These are cool, this one's got amazing colours all over, and the whole thing is nice and flexible. You can squeeze it so the two suckers stick together, then squeeze the other sides to pop it apart. Do it one-handed or use two you get a really satisfying snap. It's nice and portable, and apart from the pop, it's pretty much silent. Next I want to show you this fidget pad. Open it up and take it out of the box, and you can see it also comes with a lanyard. It's like a mini controller just for fidgeting. You've got the thumbstick, and these four buttons. Two of them make a clicky sound, and two of them are mute. There's this spring-loaded slider which you can play with around the side. On the back you've got a nice rocker switch, and a dial which spins round and round. Then you've got this little roller here to massage your finger, and these gears on the bottom too. It's a really cool little thing, and it feels well made. Nice and portable again, and on the whole relatively quiet. Here's another one. They call this the Infinity Cube, and I'm not really sure why. It's not really a cube. It's more like another controller, which doubles as a spinner. That's pretty cool. You've got these four buttons around the centre, and the same on the other side. There's a roller wheel on these two sides which you can play with and spin, and these steel balls here too. It's a good combination of fidget toy and spinner. It feels a little bit cheaply made, but it's nice and quiet and pretty discreet. Next I'm going to show you this fidget fun toy. There's a series of different coloured balls, and if we flip it around there's more on the other side. They slide around in their channels, and this centrepiece slides back and forwards, so we can mix up the different colours. I can see this is going to get confusing. I'm swapping a few around on the other side too. Then I realised you can actually spin the slider around as well. <laughs> right, so we really can mix them up. And the idea is, once you've mixed them up, you try and put them back into their colour groups, without resorting to undoing the screws and taking it apart. It's kind of a fidget puzzle toy. On the top of the toy there's a button, a switch, and a massage roller. I did try to complete the puzzle, it takes a bit of time and thought, but I did manage to do it. And it's definitely more rewarding than unscrewing the guides to remove the balls. Now check this out, this is awesome, it's a turtle squeeze toy. Give it a good push and watch his head pop out. It's all flexible, but it's not at all a stretchy material. It's a fun sort of take on a stress ball, and you get a great sound when his head pops out. I think it's a really cool little thing. And they even come in different colours. Now check out this really cool peapod squishy. It's nice and small, so you could attach it to your keys or a zip, and when you squeeze one of the pods, out pops a pea. Hello! Pretty cute, huh? It's really cool, nice and small and quiet, and a fun little fidget to take your mind off things for a minute. Now what about this, have you seen these before? It's a couple of key rings linked together with two chain links. They rotate around each other nicely. There's not much to them really, but they are quite fun to keep your fingers busy. You can put the two links together to one end, and rotate them like this too. Next I want to show you what's in here. It's this really cool metal rainbow spinner. It's got these six nicely coloured anodized orbs around the centre. Give it a spin and you get this cool flash of colours. This feels like a quality item and it spins really well. 
You can actually unscrew these orbs and use it with a different pattern. Here I'm only using three. Or you could use four together like this. Or just two. Let's try it with none. Oh yeah, even that works. Pretty cool, huh? But my favourite's with all of them. And even just rolling it around in the palm of your hand is a nice fidget. Now, what about this? It appears to be just an ordinary fidget spinner. But actually it's got poppers on each of the rings. It's like they've combined a simple dimple and a fidget spinner. The rainbow pattern is really cool. And it's a great little idea for a fidget toy. You may have seen this simple dimple in one of my previous videos. It's nice and small and portable, and it can fit onto a keychain. But have you ever seen one of these before? This one's a really decent size, with five different sized dimples. It could be used as a sensory toy for younger children, and enjoyed by everyone up to adults who are looking for a fidget. It does feel satisfying popping the bubbles, and because they're different sizes, they all make a slightly different sound. I really like it. I also found this one. I think this is a toy you'd probably buy for younger children. It's a cute little caterpillar design. It's got these four different coloured dimples, and they push through to the other side. But they only seem to make a popping sound when you push them back through from this direction. Or you can just sit it on the table and use them almost like push buttons. I'm enjoying this far too much. Now you've probably seen these poppets before, but this one's really cool. It's actually a pencil case. Look at that inside, it looks really funky. You can push a load of the bubbles down, then slide your hand inside to pop them back out. The zip works really well, and the whole item feels really well made. It's a pretty decent size, I think you'd fit quite a lot in. And if you're bored at your desk, you can just have a little pop. Now what about this liquid motion sensory toy? It's filled with a clear liquid, maybe an oil, and two different coloured liquids here at the bottom. Turn it over, and we get this really cool display. It's nice and silent, and it might just help you relax for a minute and take your mind off things. Watching it becomes a bit hypnotic. You can just leave it doing its thing, or play around with it, and you can get some pretty awesome patterns. Now check this out, it's a really cool dinosaur squishy ball. It's a cool shape and colour, and when you give it a squeeze, look at this. It feels really cool, lovely and squidgy. And there's these sort of coloured orbs inside of the goo. You can let it just sort of slide through your fingers. And that's addictive. The dinosaur itself is really stretchy too, you can pull it and tweak it. It's a really nice colour, and it's a great sort of stress ball. And it looks really cute. You can get different colours and different types of dinosaur. I think it's great, and it looks cool on your desk. You've probably seen something before like this stress relief basketball. They're like a hard foam and you can squeeze them and play with them, and even bounce them. It's a fun little toy to play around with. But what about these? These are really cool. They're a similar thing, but these come in a multi-pack with a range of faces, just like emojis. We've got happy, uncertain, <laughs> this one, oh this one's got a plaster over his mouth. And I've lined them all up to show you what we've got. You can actually use them to build up finger muscles. You can bounce them and play with them, or even use them to juggle with. If you'd like to see these other really cool fidget toys, you can click on this video. Or maybe you'd like to see some cool kitchen gadgets, so click here. Have fun, stay safe, 